What's going on Killer Clan? Welcome back to Giant Foods. We're doing an all-time favorite for everybody today because today we're gonna build the world's largest pizza roll. That's right, large pizza roll. Like this. It's gonna be this big, it's huge. I don't know what that is, 11 by 16, 11 by 18? It's gonna be gigantic. It's got three pounds of sauce. And it's not just your traditional. No, it's not traditional, you know, like pepperoni or ham or four cheese. This is four cheese and four meat. So let's put this thing together. All right, Killer Clan, so this thing's gonna start out with a pound of bacon, because everything's better with bacon. Now, do they actually make a pizza roll with bacon in it? I don't believe so, but this is Killer Kennedy. We, we have to do bacon. Mr. Pole, you have to do bacon, why, right? Why don't they make a pizza? I don't know. They don't, they don't do a bacon. They should. They really honestly should. So we got a pound of bacon and we got a pound of sausage. Jimmy Dean, Jimmy only Dean. the best. What we're going to do is we're going to saute this up so that it's, uh, you know, obviously pre cooked for when we stick it in the pizza roll. Sausage broke up. Actually cooking the bacon this time because it's going to be cooked twice. We're going to, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> if that's what you want to call it. I think I need to sharpen these knives. I think it's safe to say. Yeah. I think it's safe to say that my knives need sharpened. That's not a knife. This is a knife. Bacon and sausage. We need emphasis on sausage. Sausage. <laughs> All right, so we got, we got three of these. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna need three of them. I don't know how big these things are. We're gonna find out. Pillsbury Pizza Crew. Pillsbury. Only the best. The, you know, they actually, uh, they actually used to call me the PBDB in high school. PBDB. The Pillsbury Double in high school. What they used to call me. Now that I look back, it's not that funny. Oh boy. Definitely glad I got three. Unless it's because it's cold. Maybe if it warmed up, it would probably stretch out a little bit. Alright, we're gonna. Form to desire thickness and shape. Pre baked dough, eight minutes. It says form to desired thickness and shape, but it doesn't say anything about adding. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so we got our bottom dough down, which was a nightmare. Don't ask. We're supposed to pre-cook that for eight minutes. Get the get the cubage going on. Got to cook that pizza dough a little bit up. I don't necessarily know how you're gonna pre-cook the uh, top of it though. I'm not gonna be able to, it's just gonna have to go in. Well, you're not gonna, um, it's not gonna be covered, so it should cook, correct? And if you look right here, I got my, uh, chilling with my homies. Waiting for something. <laughs> Waiting for something to drop. Waiting for some debris. Are you getting any with me? <laughs> yeah. All right, so there's our cubed ham. Yeah. Those are pretty good cubes. Those are pretty good cubes, right, Mr. Bull? I know you guys will be upset. Anderson doesn't get something. So Anderson gets something. Martha gets something. Mercedes gets something. There we go. And all the food, all the dog critics are all satisfied. They all got something. That's right. No, there's too much sodium in that hammy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you trying to do, kill your dog? You gave him sodium. <laughs> what do we got? 
three of the four meats in here. We got a pepperoni over there. We got all of these meats pre warmed. Except the pepperoni, but pepperoni's already cooked. Except the so. pepperoni, but it's already cooked. Now what we did do is we put this in like it says. Preheated it. And it's preheated, and then you can top as needed. Just gonna push that back out a little bit. Here's a size comparison for what a normal size one looks like. And I know, don't make fun of the dough. We had a <laughs> we had a uh, serious we had a situation. There was a situation. We had a situation. And we got three things of sauce, which... Focus. Nice. Hmm? Three things of what? Three things of sauce. Which I don't know if all these are going to actually fit. I might only use two of those. It looks like a very, uh, saucy. Yeah, it looks, uh... Super saucy. It looks to be a bit of a saucy side. Maybe just use the third one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Either the silica pack. Silica pack. <laughs> yeah. Most silica pack it's ever eaten. Dude, there is an obnoxious amount of pepperoni in this thing. Yeah. The question is, what is the most pepperoni ever eaten? Uh -huh. And so this gives us four meat and four cheese. Nobody's ever made a pizza roll four meats and four cheeses. So we are going to. I don't know if that's going to be loaded. Nothing is going to be loaded. Uh, it is going to be a beast. Hey, I, it's probably majorly going to be cold when I eat it. <laughs> I have a feeling. It's, it's, I feel like it's going to look like a pizza roll, though. Look, it's starting to get puffy. Floppy bacon. We got the meat trio here. I mean, if you could just smell the aroma coming off of that alone, it's delicious. You're really gonna have to stretch that top, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have top to. crust. All right, so now we got. It does smell good. Huh? It does smell good. We got more cheese. <laughs> more cheese. And that thing is freaking loaded. Because the bottom was an absolute debacle, Mr. Pool. The bottom was a mess. How do those Italian guys? Freaking spin this thing, you wanna try it? Oh, I know we got more on this side, so. Got to build a bit, a bit, a bit of a hole. But it's big, I'm not gonna lie. All right, so we're going in. I guess we'll see what happens when it comes out. All right, Killer Clan, so me and Mr. Poole went ahead and weighed this thing. It's massive. It's just under 10 pounds, nine pounds, 14 ounces. And we figured it out, it's 4,488 grams. Each regular Totino's pizza roll is 14 grams. That means that there's approximately 320 pizza rolls in this one roll. We're gonna let it cool down. Then we're gonna get into this super extra cool challenge. Almost as cool as the water inside this bottle from thecoldestwater.com. Make sure you jump over there, grab yourself a bottle, 21 ounces up to a gallon. Use the promo code below. Kick killer back some. All right, killer clan. So we went ahead and let this thing cool down a little bit. Uh, just like all giant food creations, it's gonna be steaming hot. It's just nature of the beast. But without further ado, the 10 pound, just under 10 pound, pizza roll challenge. Remember, 
normal size, killer size. Three, two, one. Gigundo pizza roll. I'm obviously not gonna be able to pick this thing up and eat it, but I do have some silverware. I'm gonna try to cut it. That's all dough. I wanted to show you the good stuff. You taught me to sell the good stuff, Joder. Let's see if I can manage this thing. Look at that. It's freaking steaming hot. I'm sure you can see it. Let's eat this thing. There's a normal size one. Mm, I think mine's better. Especially with that four meat blend. I don't know, after tasting mine, Totino's, you better step your game up. Bottom crust is perfect. Listen to that crunch. <clears throat> Anderson, this isn't the part in the video where you get anything in. After later on, and I feel like balls. It's pretty hot and melty the whole way through, so. So as we said before, this is equivalent to about 320 pizza rolls. Not necessarily completely accurate because your dough weight, we got a lot more guts in these things than a Totino food. Whatever kind of pizza we eat. I guess Totino's is the most known brand. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Two pounds of ham, 180 pepperoni. Pound of sausage. It was a good thing to put the cheese in first. <clears throat> then when I put all that hot meat on there, it melted. You know, sometimes all you can do is put your hot meat on top and hope for the best. Comment below what your favorite pizza roll flavor is. I think they make buffalo chicken too, but I haven't seen those in a long time. This thing's a little spicy. I'm thinking it might be the sausage. <clears throat> We're in the middle now.
about eight and a half minutes in. We're about, yeah, I'd say a little over halfway through this thing. junk. That sausage is like six bucks. Cheese was like nine bucks. How expensive? Like $320 pizza roll. Not $40. I'm going to let you know a secret. I've never had a peach roll taste this good. This could be viewed as a lot of things. Pizza roll, calzone, stromboli, stuffed double pizza. I don't know, it's it's like a little bit of everything. People. Maybe Annie should be over here handling the cheese pulls. Oh! Bon <laughs> Finn! Even though I screwed up the bottom dough, it's still delicious. Have a pizza joint local. The best part is like when it sticks to the paper. That's bad. You see this? That's all pepperoni. <laughs> I have no idea how many calories in this thing. Probably a lot. Luckily for you though, I got my diet soda and water helping keep the calories down. part of video a lot of you guys wait for. There you go. He's never satisfied. You got two this time. Oh, so slowly. My heart's going like a hundred miles an hour. <laughs> That's fine.
along and here's cookies. This is like a couple minutes tops. Perfectly melty. It's cold. Good. All right, twenty one oh six. I think was huge. All right, Killer Clan. So there it is, the just under ten pound pizza roll challenge. It's equivalent to three hundred and twenty by weight. So there it is, about twenty one minutes. If you like this video make sure you hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't it's free i mean what else in this world's free right now besides a subscription to my channel and of course everybody else's channel too follow me on instagram twitter and facebook at the killer kennedy <clears throat> until next time get yourself some big bags of pizza rolls and take it easy